from. We're on. Good morning, everybody. See, this is it. We run through so many tests before the show and then it all goes a little bit wild. The gremlins get into our studio, don't they? So happy Friday and welcome to Hunky Dory Craft TV. You may have noticed a few of our cheeky gremlins getting in and putting a few test shots on of our Win It Weekly winners. Um, do not worry because we are announcing those winners later on in the show. It was just a random test and we will be announcing those winners so to please get your entries in for our fabulous win it weekly it is an amazing prize and we do apologize for any little gremlins um they're running riot this morning okay shall we introduce everybody that we've got with us today my name is rebecca monks and i'm going to be hosting you through this fine hour of crafty fun in our producer station we have the wonderful jess this morning Hi. Good morning. And in our demonstration station, ready to craft up a storm with all of our prism goodies, including our new colouring toppers, is the wonderful cat. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited about this. I know. Oh my goodness. We've had a little switcheroo to the yes. schedule. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like Give me those colouring toppers. I know. I need to play with them. I know. They're so, <laughs> so exciting. Um, so hopefully the gremlins should be, you know, we're, we're, we're putting them back in the cupboard, guys. So do bear with us. We're going to have a really exciting show. Um, okay, let's kick it off, first of all, with our fabulous Win It Weekly. <laughs> Okay, so would you like to win these wonderful precious portrait flowers, ultimate collection of dyes? Oh my goodness, these are absolutely stunning. We have got rose, we have got sunflower, we have got poppy, we have got forget me not, and we have got crocus as well. Aren't they absolutely stunning? Um, so we are picking three lucky winners and announcing them today. Um, okay, so we would like to know, complete the saying, March comes in like a lion and goes out like a, a cat, B mouse or C lamb. Do get your answers in because we are announcing that winner at the end of the show. Um, hopefully you are staying nice and warm and dry. We've got lots of comments saying the weather is very bad out there. Um, so who knows the answer to our Win It Weekly question will be revealed um, but today is all about our wonderful colouring toppers aren't these if you're staying in avoiding that snow what better thing to watch than a bit of colouring exactly oh it's like therapy yes. isn't it yeah it is mindful it is relaxing it is therapeutic we absolutely love it um so we're gonna run a little vt aren't we jess yeah let's have a look at these stunning toppers that are coming up in the show <music> our beautiful ink pads BT there. Flipping it, the gremlins really are naughty today, aren't they? Um, but they are coming up on the show, so it was very lovely to have a look. Shall we? Shall I do a little DIY VT? Look at these wonderful cards that you could be making. Um, these are just absolutely stunning colouring toppers. They come in a monochromatic format for you to add whatever medium you like, whether that is your um, colouring pencils, whether that's your ink pads, your glimmer mist. We're going to be showing all of our colouring mediums off. Um, oh, this one was coloured by your mum, Hazel. It was, yes. um, So hopefully, Hazel, you're watching the show today. Thank you so much for joining in. Your mum can't resist a bit of colour therapy, can she? She cannot, no. Um, she is a wonderful, incredibly talented lady, uh, and we just, we just couldn't resist sending her a set, could we? <laughs> <laughs> um, so absolutely beautiful, beautiful card models. You'll see some of the images on here as well let me get some more um for you you've got the most wonderful themes in here as well um oh this one's one of mine oh uh, how exciting 
beautiful beautiful cards to be um having a little play with and obviously every single project is going to look different yes um, they've got a really wonderful uniqueness about these um this is one of cats that i absolutely love honestly it just oh, thank you blew me away cat it's so beautiful love those kind of like rustic tones and those sort of um kind of sepia amber colors in there it's absolutely beautiful we've got another one um by hazel there with those flowers look at those all on there absolutely beautiful we will be showing you plenty more cards um, but let's have a little run through our fabulous toppers shall we so these are incredible brand new to us i don't think we've ever done anything like this no this is a brand new concept, brand new concept it? so innovative it's so so clever these are almost like digi stamps that are printed off and die cut for you yes it is just the most wonderful thing so you don't have to stamp you don't have to print anything off you don't have to die cut it's all been done all you need to do is add your color so they come in monochromatic so if you just want to make black and white cards you know get your licorice matte tastic out um or your black stamping card and away you go you can just add some black gemstones and you're absolutely fine they look wonderful but obviously they do really come to life once you start adding your color so let's have a little look at these so it all follows like a very nice garden party theme um, so absolutely beautiful it just make us think of those warmer days ahead um, so we obviously following the garden party theme we've got our cake we've got our teapot there with the fresh brew we've got our little biscuits how cute are these down at the bottom um, someone has definitely raided the cookie jar and they look so fabulous once they're coloured in um, and then you've got matching sentiments so you've got relax it's your special day cake is the answer oh yeah Yes, cake is always the answer and this one as well there is always time for tea again oh there really is always time for tea you've got the little jammy dodger there and the strawberry topper beautiful lace borders and like i say once you get your colors added onto here they're gonna look so stunning guys even if you don't consider yourself the most fantastic colorist it's so easy yes you really can just keep these super super simple so for 19 pounds 99 you're gonna get 24 sheets you're gonna get 12 foil toppers um, with that beautiful black foil in and you're going to get 12 300 gsm premium watercolor cardstock with that as well um, which we've kept really nice and delicate and simple we've not put too much design on this so once you've colored your toppers you can either mix and match these or you don't have to feel too intimidated by coloring a whole other design on there yeah. you know we just thought we'd just keep these really nice and simple and just let the kind of toppers do all of the talking so three sheets in each of the four designs both of your toppers and cardstock there the next one is this wonderful um, in the garden scene there you've got the beautiful show-stopping centerpiece that wishing well is absolutely stunning um, again you guys saw a few card models on that with that arch topper and you've got the wonderful little tags as well you also tweet and it's a little things in life look at this wonderful border as well absolutely stunning um, again like I say just imagine this coming to life we'll show you some more card models as well to really hammer that home how beautiful these are you've got the little birdies in the bird bath isn't that gorgeous you could color that in like a nice stone color absolutely anything the choice really is yours maybe you want to um you know follow a certain color palette um, you know do a pastels or a grayscale or sepia tones absolutely up to you it's going to look so different whatever you decide and um, this one obviously does really really match well this cardstock and um, you've got those floral corners on both of those with those little um, dots and dashes um, on the side as well so you are going to be seeing how that's going to match so well with your border and your tag on there they've both got that same kind of bloom effect on those for you okay let's have a look at the next one every single design is just going to take your breath away this is some of our best selling stamp artwork that we've got the lovely stacy i believe has designed these for us um quite some time ago in a very very different format so it's lovely to see them as toppers with that beautiful black foil in that is going to resist all of your mediums as well once you get your color down you don't need to worry about um discoloring or spoiling that foil in. it's going to be absolutely beautiful so you've got the poppy there 
and um, you've got the wonderful sort of lilac with the butterfly though it doesn't have to be a lilac it could be absolutely any sort of foliage and flora there um, and then you've got this wonderful one again which could be like a foxglove or maybe a big dahlia like close up with the sweetest little ladybug isn't he cute um uh, cute as a bug and beyond grateful because you've got those wonderful honeycomb textures in there once that bee is coloured in black and yellow, it's going to look absolutely stunning. Um, beyond grateful and sending you butterfly kisses. Again, your matching piece of cardstock for this one. Um, again, quite oh, generic sounds awful, doesn't it? Universal, maybe. That could be a honeycomb. That could be a lace. That could be a... Um, you know absolutely anything there it's just a really nice um sort of shape for you you've got the little polka dots on the side there and then obviously the rest of it you can sponge you can leave white you can do your um you can get a little bit of artistic on here and then finally we got our flowers in bloom just perfect for the garden party theme you've got the hydrangea and um, you've got the wonderful hyacinth there the dahlia the daffodils and obviously mix and match these um we've seen a few of the card models that don't just concentrate on the one flower they've got quite a few of these really showing off that garden theme um daffodils is just i just think the epitome of march birthdays it isn't is, it yeah definitely always makes me think of mother's day and and just those lovely spring days just around the corner again matching sentiments here wonderful in every way just for you and thinking of you again a lovely lacy border there this one's a little bit more detailed so you can really get in with like the fine liners of your brush markers or again just ink it in a really nice ombre fashion and your matching cardstock for this one is those wonderful little um kind of like floral um dotty pattern there for you with some hexagons again that could very easily go with your honeycomb i've seen this one done with these sort of biscuits in that um, kind of cream biscuit caramel tones as well it looks absolutely beautiful um so 19 pound 99 for all of that and like i say you're getting 24 sheets in there um so relaxing to do on an evening with your favorite television program and your favorite coloring mediums and um, we are going to be showing you through those coloring mediums for you but i think it's time to time to see these come to life and we're going to flick over to our lovely cat are you ready for a demo? We are! Yay! So I am going to be starting out with our beautiful, wonderful wings and please ignore that I've, I've pre-done this one, so sorry that it's gone. And we're going to concentrate on this beautiful uh, ladybug here. It's so uh, cute. I wanted to start with something uh, really simple. This is my colour palette for this. So I know a few of you might be looking at this and be a little bit daunted yeah. by the amount of colouring in. So I really wanted to pair it back and show you how you can do something really simple, really basic colour palette, but still really make it pop. So these are my four pencils. I've got an orangey shade, a red, a grey and a black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in these leaves of the, uh, the petals of this flower and I'm just going to concentrate on these in the greys and the blacks and then we're just going to make that little ladybug really really pop so this is a great starting point for anybody out there so I'm just gently working this grey in and we're just going slightly darker at the top because we're going to deepen that up with the black in a bit as well and we're just going to bring it down, getting lighter and lighter till it fades out to the colour that's left on your cardstock. So we'll just do this on a couple of the leaves for you. So we'll just work our way down. And you've got all these design lines in there that you can just follow. Yeah, that's the great thing about these, isn't it? There are some really nice sort of, it almost invites you to lay it that does. colour on, doesn't yeah. it? Um, so many of you guys are absolutely loving these. Um, Shelley Alden says, no spoiling the foiling, <laughs> loving the rhyme. Um, I'm going to pinch that one, Shelley. No spoiling of the foiling. No, not at all. Um, she also says, whoever designed these needs a bonus. Um, they do. They're such a clever idea. I see it as it's lots of the wonderful sides of Hunky Dory. So like taking our classic toppers and then our prism range and a little bit of the stamping. And they've come together and had this wonderful baby. I know. It's great, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, yeah. 
Jackie Bradley says, love colouring, so these would just suit me fine. This is it. I mean, some of the, um, I know it was Veronica on our service team was like, do you know what? I'd love to just sit and colour these. Exactly. I don't even really make cards. However, I would just love to colour these. Yeah. Um, so even grabbing them for the children or, you know, those teenagers, you know, I mean, how relaxing. If you've got exams like season coming up, these would just take your mind off it so That's wonderfully. Yeah. So you can just see how we're adding that shade into them petals there and imagine doing that all over them. And then we're going to move on to our beautiful ladybug. Well, this is it. It's another great example because you might be daunted thinking, oh, if I have to sit down and make a card and colour it all in, it's going to take me so long when I just want a quick card. But you could sit and colour at your leisure, get all your sheets coloured up and then put them into your stash like regular toppers. Yep. And then they're there ready to go when you yeah. when you do need to make a card absolutely um janet burgess says are these the watercolor pencils you are using yes is, they yeah. are our wonderful prism watercolor pencils um, that cat is using manda clark says loved the show on hobby maker yesterday so i've gone in with like a i think that color is actually called marmalade so it's a bit more orangey just to keep the the base of that um ladybird a little bit lighter so you get that depth when you're colouring up and you're layering your colours up. I am just using my pencils dry today but you could go in with your water brushes and add a little bit to loosen this colour up if you wanted to. And you can see how we're starting to build up the depth on that butterfly now. Ladybird. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> One of them. And then I'm just going to go in and add some shadows around this red edge with the black and it really, really starts to make it pop and then again i'm just going to go in around the face with my gray oh this is looking absolutely stunning already and you've only colored in two petals it's beautiful that's Pat. it and wait till the reveal i mean you know i'm not one for singing my own praises but i do really like this i think this you style so we're just going to take it down that and then just darken it off and it's amazing how quickly you can really bring this to to life absolutely even if you just wanted to color in that ladybird absolutely you know yeah. it, the artwork is just so stunning though obviously it does really obviously come to life with a bit more color and um, but it's absolutely up to you you know there's no no set rules with these at all um hannah horn says oh good morning hannah she's one of our lovely design team ladies I find colouring so therapeutic, they would be perfect to colour all cosied up watching some TV. 100%. Viv Williams says, I colour at night watching TV. Tackling the markers again at the moment. Oh, well, I hope, um, I hope you're having fun with them. So I'm just moving on to the frame and on this outer edge, it goes over where it die cuts out. So I'm not being too precise there. I'm just letting my keeping trying to keep as neat as I can up to the black line on the inside but if I go a bit over on the other I'm just going to do two sides for you here just to show the effect that I'm going so I'm going back in with that orange shade as a base and then I'm going to take my darker slightly darker red and we're just going to come about halfway either way so we're just going to build up some definition on this frame and then again in with the black and this time just about a third of the way in just build up the shadow effect Ooh, yeah. on the corners and are you ready for the reveal yes and when you're all done if you carry on you should end up with something that looks like <gasps> this that is just magical doesn't it all that depth in the um to find. And genuinely, with a palette of like two colours. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where I've put my cinnamon. Anybody can see it on the floor? Book? Yeah. Oh, it can't be so far. Did you have it this did have when it. we came in? Yeah. I oh. will find it. Just give me a minute. So we'll move on now to our background sheet. It'll probably fall out of all this stuff. So I am going to concentrate on this panel here and keep this quite clean. Yeah. So I'm going to take a bit of our masking tape. Ooh. 
and because this is our watercolour card because it's a little bit more textured to it just ignore me i'm going to put this on my jumper just oh, to yeah, pick up, up a, a bit, bit of lint yeah <laughs> just to take it the tack down even more and i'm just going to line this up against this edge because we're going to ink this to do it quickly you can uh, use your pencils to do it and i'll just show you one that i've done before using the, the petals for the background uh, oh, using the pencils Jess, just bob the uh, camera on sorry oh, i'm gonna so this is the same style i'm going to be making a different card today um but i've used the pencils here whereas this time i'm going to be using the ink just for a quicker effect so i've taken our letterbox red our earth red and then i've got the concrete for slightly later on so don't be daunted by these pieces of cardstock because you'll see here just how quickly you can color them up and get them to work with your card because you might be looking at all that detail in there thinking that is going to take forever but it's not i promise you if you want it to it can that's it absolutely the choice is yours yeah. whether you just do really quick speedy coloring maybe a bit of monochromatic projects you know it'll take you you know half an hour 20 minutes yeah. if you want to spend hours and hours and really just hide away in your craft room um from everybody in the world you absolutely can do that sounds like heaven doesn't, doesn't it? it i think so so we're gonna go in with the earthy red and just really bring these tones up So over there with that and then we're just going to go around the edges with the concrete just so we're keeping everything on that same kind of colour scale. I am going to bring a little bit of this round down the middle here because I'm going to chop into this awesome. so just so we get that effect when we cut into it. So just add in those dark tones around the edge blending all that in nicely and then we can take this off here now I do recommend I've got my wipes out here just keep going in and cleaning your surface and your fingers as you're working with things like this so you try and avoid getting finger splodges off but yeah look when it can you pull be tricky back, just look how beautiful and crisp. oh wow just a little bit of inking has changed that up completely so i want to chop this down into uh two layers of just under four inches so we're going to chop this into two three notches under the four squares And you can see just cutting into them really really makes them pop definitely it's so nice isn't but keep it? your middle piece because we are going to use this for the base of our card so i'm going to cut this to three notches under six and a half see i am getting fingerprints everywhere oh it's so tricky isn't it but hopefully oh no 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 i have done one earlier i just cut that too small but i have got one prep there and then I'm going to bring in some black stamping card just to give me some nice matte and layers for everything that I'm doing here. So we want one of six and a half. And then two of four. And you can get this out of one sheet. my construction glue i've not set it up ready today I said we've all been distracted by those uh, gremlins oh, early on they're being very very pesky I'm very naughty today um i don't know it's just they're, they're not even funny today honestly carol rooney says um i love coloring and then making cards um dawn says these are perfect as it combines coloring and card making my two favorite hobbies yeah exactly what could be better it's a marriage made in heaven 
Let's get these snuck down. A few requests for Christmas ones of these. I know, Christmas would be fab, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. We will definitely pass that on to our wonderful design team for you guys. So pop them on there. And then, sorry, our base layer. Try and find my cleaner side that I've not got all my marks all over. And then, if I can't find this sentiment, I'm just going to have to rip it off that card there. I, th <laughs> I, th I think we can get away with it. I've definitely seen it. It is here somewhere. It'll be like stuck to my chair or down. I can't believe it hasn't cropped up yet. I know. But we do like to make a mess. So then I'm going to layer these up just to add some Ooh. real. In fact, I'm going to turn these around because that one's got the messiest bit on. So I might be able to hide that under the, under the mess. So we'll do this one first and I'm just going to glue them down so that as flat as they can be to the card so it's just going to make sticking that topper on a little bit easier. So I'll pop you there. And oh, nearly went wonky donkey. And you in that bottom corner. Let's add some foam pads to our topper. And then I'm going to have one last very quick look for my sentiment. And if not, I'm going to pinch it from my other card. Oh, this is coming together so beautifully, Kat. It really does make it pop, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to add this over the centre of these two here. Squidge them down a bit further. Just overlapping. We'll get that nice effect. And then one last little look around my absolute mess. Oh, that looks stunning. Nope, can't find it. So I'm going to pinch it off this one. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And we just need a little bit more foam pad. So we've got one layer there, so we need to put two little squares on the other side. Just pop that. Oh, that looks so here, cute. Here. No, I well, think quite like overlapping things. And then we're going to pop it onto a 7x7 seven seven blank because you know me, I love a big white chunky border. Yeah, that's going to look so good, especially to, you know, it'll just really sort of echo the, th the little white space that you've left behind. Yeah. Um, and it'll just make it look really awesome. Oh, that just looks beautiful. go in and colour these little bits up. I had done more shading on the one I made for this show so I am a little bit disappointed. I think but it looks lovely Kat. I when I find it I'll stick it to my forehead and wear it for the rest of the show. <laughs> oh what there a beautiful card. So you're really adding colour and texture to to those things but you're keeping it simple so you've got the best of both worlds. That's it. Do not be intimidated by this collection. I mean, it is just absolutely stunning. What a wonderful make. Thank you so much, Thank Kat. Thank you. Um, I love, love, love that card. That that topper is just everything. That ladybird, so cute. Oh, I found it. Oh, we found it? <laughs> of course you have. Of course I have. Oh, well. Okay. Troublesome. Oh, pesky today. Okay. Um, in case you missed the start of the show, we are launching our fabulous garden party colouring toppers for you guys. Absolutely stunning. Um, do, you know, skip back and watch the beginning of the show because they are stunning and you don't want to miss any of Kat's demos today. Um, so that is our fabulous live launch we are celebrating today. And we thought this would be a really good opportunity to show you some of our prism um coloring mediums a world of color that is just so appropriate we have got everything you could need to start your coloring stamping just prism journey with us 
And the first thing that we're going to show you is our wonderful, stunning ink pad selection. So for fifty nine eighty, um, and that's even if you're not signing in, guys. And if you're not, what are you doing? Come on, going down to fifty six eighty one just for creating a club account, or fifty three eighty two for our members you are going to be getting all 40 of these ink pads what a whopping um, selection for you and you've got so many wonderful colors in here you've got darks brights vintage pastels in here of every single color of the rainbow black gray purple pink green yellow absolutely everything um let's pick out a few favorites um blueberry absolutely stunning but they're all stunning orchid hot pink royal blue khaki um, so these are going to come in these really wonderful lovely bags full of inks and then let's have a look at some more of our colors oh so these are more of the um kind of oranges and reds you've got some of those sepia colors in there you've got cocoa bean gingerbread velvet fawn and some more neutral shades as well dove gray muddy muddy boots that's everyone's favorite um stormy night earth red concrete lily pad peachy absolutely beautiful everything you could need for any of your inking projects don't forget that that also comes with our wonderful crafting handbook jam packed with projects pages inspiration i mean do you want to be grabbing some beautiful items from nature and using them with your ink pads this book will tell you how do you want to be getting your heat embossing out um do you want to be making cards like this super simple and fun absolutely beautiful um to start off your inking journey or if you're an experienced crafter with our ink pads they've got some more um kind of either ad maybe not advanced but more sort of fun techniques that you can be just expanding your journey with absolutely beautiful there is so 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 much fun to be had with these ink pads we did also um at the beginning of the year just because you know 40 just wasn't enough we launched our fabulous Tranquil Moments limited edition colour palette. This was launched with our wonderful Wildlife Blossoms collection because the colour palette is just spot on if you've got that at home. However, these are just perfect colours for all year round. Just look at that gorgeous, almost kind of like vintage colour palette. Six new shades, all brand new for spring 2023. You've got Salmon Sea Green, Air Force Blue, which is just oh fantastic an absolute favorite toasted oat chiffon and leafy green um so even if you just want a little taster of our ink pads um 10 pounds 79 for our diamond or 11.39 if you are in our club so we love those oh we do have sets of these as well oh wonderful thank you jess so we have put together your own color palettes if there's a particular sort of type of colouring that you like to do whether that's our pastels um, for example we have bundled those in together to make a perfect ready-made colour palette for you um, just 14.24 or 13.49 um, with your signing in um, on those ones we've got obviously your brights um, beautiful colours in there electric blue lipstick etc tangerine um, we've got our more sort of like mid-tones that kind of perfect in between not pastel but not too bright either um, you're looking at your velvet fawns your blueberries etc for those ones your mustard and then our vintage tones on here um, so a little bit deeper a little bit more sort of maybe grungy you've got muddy boots vintage rose khaki absolutely beautiful there and our final set is our essentials so that's kind of covering a little bit of everything for you including your black and brown which you might want to stamp with at home i would say the best value is to get them all though yeah definitely going to be working out much better value to get them all in there for you um Oh yeah final thing and i'll show some more cards we are also sharing a little bit of love for our fabulous glimmer mist now kat you're going to be using these a bit later on aren't you i am using for the next demo. next demo yeah. um just look at these wonderful prism glimmer mists that we've got to show you let's give them a little twirl don't they look wonderful and um, so all 24 of these in every single color of the rainbow again and they're huge absolutely ginormous 50 ml bottles here they're all in their own individual cartons so if like me you like to put them away 
away as soon as you've used them. I don't like them loose. Um, mm -hmm. Very, very pedantic. Um, you're getting, oh, this one's gorgeous. You're getting mulberry, um, you're getting peach in here. Um, everybody's favourite, that silver dollar, it really is wonderful, a nice um, one to go with all of your silver toppers as well as these colouring ones. Powder blue, um, rust red, so you're getting again mixtures of colours here, um, violet ash and steel grey and depending on how far away or close you're standing you're going to get a different finish every single time. Just give them a little bit of shake, you'll hear the sort of little mica ball in there. Um, to disperse that colour really nice and evenly and then away you go, you just spritz and go and they're so pigmented aren't they? Yeah, very, very pigmented. Very pigmented, absolutely wonderful. So hold it a little bit further away if you want a more subtle look. Ideally do it in um, on a dust sheet or in a cardboard box as well. Yes. Really, really handy to, to do that or your messy mats obviously um, for our fabulous glimmer mist but the colour payoff is stunning and the sparkle, honestly, you can't even imagine how wonderful it is. And unless you get them home they really are fabulous they're any three for 12 if you want to mix and match um, if you don't want to obviously invest in all of those glimmer mists um, or just 4.99 each you know the perfect little um, add-on to your baskets today um, okay let's have a little look at some more cards before we go back over to cat shall we I've just got some here that I'm gonna literally reach and grab because I think this is what shows it off isn't it these beautiful cards absolutely full of color um or maybe just a nice light subtle wash but honestly once they're colored they really start to come to life don't they we've got that fabulous honeycomb bee there with the sentiment beyond grateful i think this is one of our lovely natalie's um on this one um apologies if it's not there's actually no name on this one cute little stepper there um absolutely stunning and um, we've got some that marry up with our pattern papers and our matastic on here um some that you're creating your own backgrounds with um so many different mediums on here this one's our lovely lois um, a little bit more grace oh this one's one of my oh my goodness i really enjoyed it a little bit obviously like deeper than cats because it is um kind of a bigger flower and i just don't know when to stop <laughs> um, but it still looks great in that monochromatic it format it's a fantastic effect yeah. yeah it's such a lovely effect um, and obviously it does save you having to choose any of your colours so they really do look wonderful once they're brought to life again we've got a little bit of ombre on the same piece of cardstock that Kat used this one really is just the most versatile little border isn't it and then we've got some of our bigger mates as well this one by our lovely Sharon Merris here and um, so absolutely beautiful um, we love 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 them and we're so glad that you guys do it at home as well okay Kat we're gonna have a second demo we are yes I'm very so, excited this time we are going to be using like Rebecca said our uh, glimmer mists but we're going to use them as a painting medium because Ooh. I think we forget and because these are printed onto our what well, foiled onto our watercolor cardstock you can use all your prism mediums on them so I really wanted to show that off so we are going to go with this um, beautiful daffodil down here like you said because it's just spring oh. vibes yeah i'm gonna take these out beforehand just because i'm working on my mat it just gives me a little bit more more room so the great thing about these as well is that you can cover large areas quite quickly um and get that payoff but you can still build up your colors and do some lovely blending work so first of all i'm going in with sunshine yellow I'll spray a bit of that in there and we are going with tangerine dream Woo! Oh, Carol has just said, um, are these the new colours of ink pads that we just showed before? They certainly are. They are our brand new ones. They were launched in October. Um, so some lovely colours. So if you've got our original ones, these are going to be absolutely brand new colours. So, so different. Um, so do, do treat yourself to those if you can. Just give them a try. They're so lovely. Um, so you can see how well these start filling in. Oh, wow. Now, it does it starts by looking like it's um darkening down that the black foil in a little bit but as it dries out that comes back to the the forefront so we're just going to go in trust the process trust the process oh this is looking so cute we'll so just, they look so sunny they do it really gives you that really pop of vibrant color really really quickly let's see how quick they come together So just go all around there 
Um, if you feel like it is getting a little bit darker than you want, you can take a little bit of tissue, a little bit of blue roll and just dab it off a bit. Just if you think it's getting a little bit too watery for you. I'm using my brush dry. Yeah. Yeah, you, again, don't, so you don't need any. It's quite a, a, a wet, wet medium, subject. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. But it all depends on the effect that you, you're you looking for, you see. Yeah. So, and then I'm going in with that tangerine and I'm just spreading this out now. Picking up those colours. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more yellow just to blend these together. And you, it's really hard to pick up on camera, but this is going to give you that beautiful shimmer effect as well. Oh, it's going to pave through when you're doing. So we just carry on. So yeah. that's one of our daffies done. Let's move on to some of our leaves. Now I just clean this off with a baby wipe and then again onto my. So just so I can see that it's running clean there and then dry it off again with my brush because like I said, I want to keep it quite, quite dry. So for my stems on this, I'm actually mixing two colours together. I'm going to get my apple green. Yep. And this is the versatility in these as well that you can mix all your Yeah, you can your mix them together. Yeah, absolutely. So just a little spritz of that. And then I'm going in with the moss green just to darken it up a little bit. Oh, Linda Grimes said glimmer mist would be great for me as I have arthritis in my fingers. Yeah, because all yeah. you don't have to like colour as hard. You don't. It's really loose and really fluid. So I'm just going to mix them in. And then we're just going to go in with the leaves. And it's really delicate touch. And it's that kind of feeling. If you do slightly go over the lines, it's not the end of the world. It's that kind of watery, loose effect that we're looking for. Yeah. Oh, that, that's just the perfect shade, isn't it? That's it. So we just do them. And then I'm going to have to do a bit up top because you know me, I'm my OCD. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, Pat has just said, Pat Wheelwright has just purchased the ink pad bundle. Can't wait to use them. You're not going to be disappointed, Pat. You're going to absolutely love them. So let's get on to our background. And again, I'm going to mix two colours here because I wanted a nice subtle blue. But um, our lightest blue is still a little bit too vibrant with me. So I'm going to pair that with our silver dollar light you mentioned before, which is a great colour for yeah. muting things down a little bit as so well. So is that, uh, is your blue baby boy blue? It is powder blue, that Oh, one. powder blue, yeah. We've got a few different ones as well. I'm just going to go in with this, spray of that in there, mix them around. It's going to give me, I'm just going to check it just on the edge here that is the tone that I want. It is. Oh, that, yeah, it's that beautiful sort of sky blue now, it isn't, is, it? isn't it? Even a little bit moody and stormy because even though, like, it's proven at the moment, the daffies are breaking through, we've still got that little bit of. Uh, I know. Um, winter's not quite ready to leave. As my son keeps saying, my little Jackson, somebody forgot to tell March that it's meant to be spring and getting warmer. <laughs> I'm agreeing with Jackson. I got in the car this morning after scraping all the snow off. Luckily, it's not too heavy around here. And I was like, it's March. It's nearly mid-March. <laughs> what is going on, people? Um, I think that is bringing, it, bringing us very nicely to our Win It Weekly question. And we are going to have six winners, aren't we? Um, this week, Jess, because the gremlins, they're just very naughty. So we're just going to give more away. This is fine. Um, so we would like to know, complete the saying, March comes in like a lion and goes out like a what? A cat, B mouse or C lamb. So do get your entries in because we are drawing that very, very shortly. Um, apologies if you did catch the beginning of our show. Um, those sneaky little gremlins whilst we were doing a bit of testing. Um, but we are going to have six winners, so don't worry. We're going to give even more away. How exciting. Um, Loads of people saying the weird, weird weather at the moment. Donna McMillan, the weather is weird right now. Louise March said, March is just always seems to bite us on the bum as it leaves. I know, right? Um, I, I'm looking forward to April already. <laughs> it's my favourite month of the year and I'm ready for it right now. <laughs> 
so I've just because I was using the blue I've just jumped over to my sentiment and I'm just doing exactly the same again I was just filling in that background and then I'm just finishing these off with some of that beautiful stunning yellow around the borders aren't they again. just such fun to 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 use our, our glimmer mist they're not something that we often um get out and have a play with on the show so it's lovely to kind of celebrate them is and then when you're done you should end up with two that look like this <gasps> beautiful so them out the way but we're not quite finished with our coloring in yet because we are also going to do some prism work on here so i'm just going to pick up a slightly bigger brush because i've got more of a an area to cover just for a bit more coverage yep and i'm just going to go in and i'm going to mix start mixing my orange and my yellow together a little bit just so I get a good combination of mm. those colours and we're just going to very quickly oh wow pick this up that really is like yeah that is beautiful it's a really nice again that combination would work really well for like your honeybee your honeycomb it print would, wouldn't it yeah um it really is that nice sort of sunny honey yellow um I am really rhyming today sorry guys yeah. <laughs> going a bit silly um Catherine Brooks says it's lovely to nice to see a way of using these glimmer mists I have a few and I've struggled with what to do with them and um, well hopefully this lovely demonstration from Kat inspires you to get them out again give it a go so do that and then I've cut that piece down into a five by seven matte and layer there so you've got this really strong block and then a little bit of the extra that I had left I've just gone over with that sky blue yep. kind of and have you just sort well. of painted that painted on with it brush. exactly the same just painted it all the way across so let's get my messy mat out the way and we can start constructing this this card so block in with my black stamping card for my mat and layer so we know that is five by seven And then let me just remember what size I cut this to. That is going to be three inches by five and a half. That doesn't feel right. What have I done wrong there? Was it three? No, it was three and a half by five and a half. Let's go again. Let's go. Oh, this was me yesterday. I couldn't matter layer to save my life. There we go. Oh, we that should perfect. be getting back on track. Oh, do not worry, Kat. You're absolutely fine. Um, do you know what I think I've done? I think I actually chopped into the actual matte and layer that I cut before. Do you know? Oh, it's one of those. It's it one is. of those days. <laughs> We're, just. Abs we're absolutely loving it. It is just, it's very relaxing for us to watch. So don't worry. Try again. So you're absolutely fine. This is our watercolor cardstock. You're absolutely fine to use your uh, construction glue on here, but you can use your tapes if you prefer. nice border on there and then the same with this one. Oh, oh Jess you are clever construction glue at the moment is six for ten pounds wow six for ten I know um I am gonna almost guarantee that Kat's gonna be placing an order for this because yep. it is her favorite six bottles for ten pounds um so if it is your favorite adhesive do stock up now it's uh, I just don't remember it being this cheap incredible price um, and that that is ending sunday so do grab it yeah all of our mega multi buys are ending on sunday we've got loads to choose from so do head over to our website to check those out so build that up on there then we're gonna go in with those beautiful pops oh my gosh cat that looks stunning Ooh. 
Oh, it's running away. Lying foam pads. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to just layer this a little bit further up just to give those lots of height and texture in there. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Don't be afraid to play around with the placements of your toppers. You've not got to go middle, middle, middle every single time. You can overlap and play around, off-centre things, have things coming off the edges of your cards. Just have a play. Yeah. Yeah. Myra has just said a beautiful spring card. Fingers crossed we soon get the weather to match it. Let's hope so. So let's just chop this down to one of my favourites, a five by seven. Tenfold. A little bit more construction glue while it's on such a good deal. Oh, of course. I don't need to feel so guilty about using it all up. No, absolutely not. Six for ten pounds. Absolutely incredible. And this one you'll see now that that's all dried down, all the black foiling work has come back to the prominence. Oh, definitely. You've not lost any of that detail at all. Wow. There we go. Wow. Oh I my. really wish you could see the shimmer on there, but it is really, really shiny. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. So pretty. Thank you so much, Kat. Another incredible card. I absolutely love to watch Kat demo. Um, she is amazing. Oh, stop it. They just love embarrassing me. I do, yeah. It's true. Um, okay, right. Part three of the show. Where are we? Let me get... Oh, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Um, shall we have one more little last pick and flick at our beautiful um, garden party toppers that we've got for you? Absolutely stunning. £19.99 is going to get you 12 foiled copies toppers and 12 foiled card blanks in an array of beautiful gardening themed designs um saying that though the tea and cake one is obviously it does follow a, a lovely afternoon tea in the garden but it is absolutely beautiful um for the more indoorsy garden party types um, and the most beautiful card stock to match you can use any of your mediums on here um, your glimmer mist that we've just seen cat show our watercolor pencils from the first demo and um, jess should we get the pack shot in because that is just wonderful that is all you're going to get home wowzers um, so you're going to get three of each of your designs don't they look wonderful and you can imagine how good they're just going to look with some colour on it. So if you would like to take all that home online at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk, do add our fabulous colouring toppers collection down to £18.99 in the club and £17.99 for our Diamond members. What an incredible pack shot. Um, okay, we're going to show you some more of our Prism um, products that we've got for you, starting with our lovely brush markers here. Um, this is our original collection, four packs with 12 markers in each. So the first 48 um, of our markers that we did, um, this one's upside down, I don't know why, but we've got the most delicious colour palettes in here. We've got Heavenly Sunset, full guide on the back with all your numbers on and the numbers are printed onto the pens as well. Um, we've got our Blue Lagoon. Again, that contains your black and grey as well if you want to do that bit of grey scale colouring um, or your calligraphy work. Obviously, black's a really popular choice to do that with. Um, they are just wonderful for brush lettering because they are water-based and nice and easy to use. Thick on the way down, thin on the way up. And they've got a little fine liner nib point as well on the other side. They are double-ended. Got our forest walk there with those browns and neutrals going into those lush greens you've got leafy hunter pickle lime aquamarine on there and then finally our berry burst with all those pinks and purples going from oxford blue to cranberry an absolutely stunning stunning color palette on there again all of your color guide on the reverse not only that you're going to get a handbook again filled with projects and inspiration for you to use these wonderful markers absolutely stunning we've got a little bit of tangling there going on um, so many tips and tricks that you can do with these again brush lettering really nice sort of sketchy medium to work with and finally um i mean cat doesn't have a favorite medium but i would say this is an is in the top 
Yes. Um, our lovely watercolour pencils in this absolutely fabulous black um, monochromatic brush roll. And oh my gosh, it's just so satisfying to unroll these. Look oh. at the, oh, look at the colours in here. Let's lift our little flap. Here we go. Look at those. Absolutely beautiful. Fabulously encased in a, a, a wonderful brush roll for you. And you've got a little zip compartment here. So you can pop your sharpener, um, maybe your water brushes, any extra little bits and pieces. So it's perfect for traveling on the go. And then you can just pop the flap down, roll them all up and tie them away nice and neatly. You also do get one of our handbooks with those as well. These are a bargain. Um, 34.98 is your full price. 33.23 for signing in onto our club, and 31.48 for our diamond members. Again, a huge range of projects, tips, tricks, techniques, everything you could be making at home, and some absolutely stunning projects in here as well for you. Um, so absolutely incredible um oh we did have a couple of people wanting to see our um messy mats that we've got now the first one that we've got is our mixed media mat that we saw cat use in her demo and this is an absolute whopper a really large durable mat it's very very strong um really perfect for all your crafting you get the little pallets in there so if you want to lay your ink down maybe you want a little um reservoir of water in there and then a huge space to work with i think this is like no it's even bigger than a4 this it's massive um really really good size here um the large size of 275 mil by 445 mil so it's going to be perfect for all your eight by eights and your a4 projects there as well as tons of little paint palettes to mix your color with like we saw cat doing so incredible and um, built-in palettes heat resistant waterproof and non-slip as well that's so handy very handy. nothing worse than a mat that moves when you're halfway through a project yeah. non-slip guys perfect so that's 17.99 you've got your your club and diamond prices at 17 and 9 and 16 pound 19 um perfect little gift for someone as well and then this one is an absolute bargain of the century this is our silicon purple mat look how slimline it is absolutely folds away to absolutely nothing it will fold up i mean i could probably put that in my purse yes <laughs> like or your handbags, your tote bags, absolutely anything. It will fold up. Maybe you could put a little band around there. Um, and then it opens out into a fabulous A3 size for you to be um, on your projects. So, so good for messy crafting. On the go, it's absolutely perfect. And again, another really good tool if you're just getting started on your journey. Um, £9.99. So again, an absolute bargain. It's just um, an, a great everyday mat just to have down yeah. when you're doing anything. It's going to just protect your surface absolutely but let you play you're not going to have to think oh i need to put something down because i've decided i want to get my mess out or my inks out it's no. there it's ready no to go that's it exactly and they're so perfect for kids crafting if you're doing a little bit of finger painting or messy play they're perfect for that and they clean so easily don't yeah. they you know just a little bit of uh, washing up liquid on a sponge or even a baby wipe for those more um sort of like gentle crafts on there um okay we are going to get our third and final demo in before we announce the winners of our fabulous giveaways um so kat we're coming back to you back to me so this time we're going to be having a look at our brush markers now i'm not going to lie a lot of this coloring was done ahead because i know these shows can take a while but i wanted to mix it with uh, something else other than our black stamping card so i have picked out this beautiful shade of pink from our mattastic and we are going to make a little bit of a dimensional card here so i'm going to cut this to six inches tall by eight inches wide you can tell the confidence that i've actually got my measurements right and my voice <laughs> is going as i say it i'm going to pop this onto the scoreboard and then i'm going to look around frantically for a score tool ah, have we got one uh, da, da, da. okay i'm not i oh, know because i still need score tool if i'm going to do it on my yeah just so, just will go and get you on thank you okay so let's just jump that out of the way we'll come back to that in a minute so i have gone ahead and this time we have gone with our glorious cake 
uh, topper here and this is coloured in using the brush markers and I'm just going to finish off a little bit of colouring in these borders the frame's done there I've got little bits and pieces I need to finish so I'll get them all out so again these could be watered down thank you very much but I am just using them as they are so I'm just taking this oh there is one green. in here that you could have used sorry cat it's all right it's my fault because I um I had to empty my box earlier because the hinges had come out the back so I was fixing it and I've obviously not picked it up and put it back in oh this looks beautiful so just taking the green round which really really makes it pop oh that looks stunning cat. and then what I also like to do is afterwards especially on the edges is just go around on the sides carefully oh and cap it off just yeah. cap it it just finishes it you don't have any of those white edges bleeding through both sides it may seem like an insignificant thing but i do think you can really tell when it's on your card when you, just it's one of the, yeah it's one of those jobs that when you do it you don't notice it nobody will never know that you've spent the time to do that but if you don't do it you'll see it so yeah. it's just that extra little bit of pizzazz and polish it is, isn't it 100%. yeah percent so again let's finish off this cake one here and i've just gone for this really really pale tone just to make sure everything's matching and coming together we'll just build that up a little bit at the bottom around this side just to add and it does layer on top of itself absolutely lovely and again we'll add that green around the side here put your tip of your brush up to the line oh yeah that green is just so good it is um, and do you know what color this is cat it is zero four six zero four six awesome so i'm sure it'll tell you what the name is if you've got the book yeah it might be one from one of our newer collections we've got the antique and the rainbow as well as our original selection that antique set is just my absolute favorite yeah i think so many deep gorgeous jewel tones in there oh definitely absolutely and then i've just got zero eight three and i'm just finishing off these little dot details yeah the 46 here. is the army green from the antique selection so I've been quite brave with this because there's only a little bit of that green detail in the flowers and the leaves but I really thought bringing it into the frames would really make it pop. I think Especially so. with that gorgeous blush pink that of the cardstock that you saw that we're gonna use earlier. So I think, I think that's my colouring it in finished. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna back this onto a little bit of acetate. Ooh. Catherine Brooks says, I love the sentiment on this one. Cake is always the answer. We agree. 100%. We 100% agree. So let's back this on to here. And then I'm carefully, well, not carefully, it kind of does the job for you. We're just going to trim around this frame. So if you just take your scissors up, just slightly undercut. Yeah. Just want to mention, Kat, just sorry yeah. um, to interrupt. Our red tape is actually on our um, Mega Multi Buys at the moment. It is on the most incredible offer for you guys. I want to say it's um, for our Mega Buy, it's £10 for 10 rolls. Wow. Ten for £9.99. Um, isn't that the most incredible price? Working out at just under a pound a roll. <laughs> incredible um so we have to give another little shout out to that i know you've heard us chunner on about our mega multi buys but it's because they're so good no we, we want you to get the things when they're at the best prices i think that's it isn't it definitely yeah. stocking up on those you know don't pay more for your essentials when you don't have to you can spend that extra money on fancy goodies well that's it sometimes that's it you, you get a bit thingy sometimes don't you when you've got to buy those boring essentials 
you're like, oh, but I wanted to spend it on something really pretty. Yes. But if you're getting them at such great prices. Absolutely. Then, Stock up now. Yeah. So let's layer this up onto here. In fact, we've got some bigger foam pads hiding. And then we'll get back to that card base. So I'll pop that on there so that's floating and this will all make sense shortly so let's bring this back in so I'm going to fold this over we're going to score at one and a half inches then two and a half inches and then I'm just going to flip it around and do the same again I should my brain's just not in a place where I trust myself to do the, me the measurements <laughs> further up so one and a half i think i might have done that too big let me see no i've not and two and a half again oh vig williams has ordered all of the trim me insert pads how can we not at five pounds each no, exactly absolutely. um and they do end on sunday i've never seen those trim me pads so cheap So we're just going to end up, Bex will know the name for this kind of style card. I want to say it's a bridge fold. Bridge fold. So we just end up with something this shape. So I've gone in with my cardstock and we Ooh. have just coloured in that using the same tones that you saw before. So I'm going to cut these into two panels for the sides. So we know that that's six inches by one and a half. So I want to cut this down to three notches under the one and a half by three notches under the six and then the same on the other side three notches there by three under the six let's just tie a little bit off the bottom awesome and then I've got another piece of the card that I have cut down to fit in my center panel oh yeah that's so cute and then I'm going to take this and we're just going to trim it a bit so we've got it for the bottom so let me just measure this is three notches under the three so we'll cut this down again Oh, Janie Duncan said, I've been keeping an eye on my basket and yay, all the stock is now available. Get checked out. Yay. Um, that is fabulous, fabulous news. So just look how many different, this is just one sheet of the cardstock and we've chopped it in so many different pieces. It looks like you've got way more than yeah. you actually have of that border. Definitely. Oh, it looks so cute, fussy cut with that scallopy edge. So we're just going to stick that on the bottom so it just replicates what we had originally. I'm just going to put this down with our construction glue. So pop that there and while that grabs and dries for a second, I'm going to get these two on to our panels here. So down like this and then I've also gone in which you will see very very shortly and I've just cut two bits of the remaining plain card stock from the middle just to do our inner panels awesome just so we've got that continuous look all the way through so it's just showing that you can pop it and matte and layer it onto those other colors you don't have to stick with your black stamping card as long as you find a tone that works with your colouring and you can really really change the look of your toppers oh beautiful so we'll pop that oh that looks there. so cute especially with the cake it's like a little lace doily or a tablecloth <laughs> so we'll pop these in you could just leave your insides pink but me being me if i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it why not so 
So this last one on this side. And then we can start adding our fun fab elements. I'm excited. Give that a good press down. I'm going to pop oh, that over cat, the top. That is stunning. There. A little bit. Let's go with our thicker one this time. We just want this on these edges where it's going to hit the... Uh, Come on, red line tape. Say a little red line of prayer. Oh, for sure. Oh, there we go. So then we're going to pop this in the middle, kind of just hold itself together so it's sitting square. And then we can just decorate it up with a few of our other little elements here. Oh, that looks perfect. put two on here so it's just proudly over that side pop that there we'll do cake is the answer up top and then hopefully somewhere I'll have room for my little strawberry as well cake is the answer we have that oh, just sitting underneath there. So cute. So we'll just slide that under. And there we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Can you bring your other cards in as well, I can, Kat? Yeah. And then we can just see how stunning they look with all of our mediums. So we got the ladybug one from the first bit of the show, cute as a bug. That's with our pencils and our ink pads. Um, and then the next one, the second one was our beautiful daffodils. daffodils with our glimmer mist. And then finally, we've got our lovely Kate one with our brush markers. They are fabulous. They are absolutely stunning, Kat. Thank you so much for your mates today. Um, everybody at home has been absolutely loving them. Um, so thank you for joining with in with us for a little bit of crafty fun on thank craft it's friday okay next thing to do um win it weekly so um our question was um complete the saying march comes in like a lion and goes out like a, a cat b mouse or c lamb um you will not be too surprised to know that the answer is c march comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb are you honestly the amount of times i had to stop myself from finishing <laughs> the saying i was like no 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 uh, and this is because it is an idiom or a saying stating the change of seasons um when march starts it is still winter and by the end of the month spring has begun um absolutely wonderful okay so we are having six winners today as well aren't we um like i say we did if you did join us we did um obviously our, our, our little test shots that we all do before the show and it did come up on the screen um so are we going to honor is it are we going to honor those winners yeah, we are, are going to honor those winners so congratulations um to margaret bisser and austin pat barry and then our three winners as well kim longmire emma landers and anne peacock congratulations you are all going to win our fabulous dies and um, like i say it is a random name generator but we thought we couldn't let you guys we couldn't tease you guys and say no um so we're going to be chucking those in the post for you send us a private message um, or a little email to the service team and we'll get that all sorted for you so congratulations guys um that's the upside to the gremlins is more winners um last thing to do it's spin that wheel <laughs> okay sorry i just had to move our lovely glimmer mists out of the way so look at these incredible prizes um spin at the wheel question this week is march is actually national crafting month um i'm sure if you follow lots of crafty pages they have been celebrating um we are uh, we have loads of fun things for march planned on our hunky dory hub on our website etc as well as all our fabulous shows so we want to know have you learned any new crafts recently let us know we'll pick a winner at random or not even new crafts what have you been crafting with like what new things have you made 
for um, March, for National Crafting Month? Have you made your Mother's Day cards? Have you learned anything new? Have you um, picked up anything fabulous on Hobby Maker? Do let us know. Um, Kat, what have you been crafting with recently? Oh gosh, um, not very busy. much. I've been too busy to craft. <laughs> oh, tell me about I know. It's been a very, very busy couple of weeks here at Hunky Dory. Let's spin this wheel and see what we're giving away. Ooh. Oh, it's a prize rollover. Have we got the box? Oh, we need this today. We need this we today. We need this today. I'm sure we have the prize rollover box. Jess is going to have a little look and find it. Um, is it that cardboard box down there? Do we? It must be. Let's have a look. Let's get it up. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Right. Let's have a look. Wowzers! Right. Okay. It wasn't over long ago. It was one though, was it? Right. Let's so. get it on. Let's have a look. Um, we have got oh. our premium magazine. Wow. We have got our birthday surprise topper set. Yeah. We've got our hobbies for him decoupage book. Decoupage rockers, um, some low tack tape. Um, we've got a fabulous hydrangea die. You've got a duo tone pad. Oh my gosh. There is quite a bit in there. Combo die, topper sets, uh, craft mat, uh, <gasps> craft mat people. Wow. 12 by 12. And the other set of the decoupage rockers. And flipping Nora, the adorable scoreable 100 sheet mega buy. Someone is going to win that. That is an amazing oh. prize. I'm quite proud of my roll today. Oh my goodness. That prize rollover box is going to be someone's to take home. Um, okay, let's have a look at some of these comments. Kim Houston, March birthdays, Easter cards, Mother's Day, my brother's 60th birthday card. Becky Hodges made an easel card for the first time. With the fairy products, Debbie Ryan is trying to stamp him. Deb Clark White is learning how to make paper daffodils. Um, Ella's Emporium has started watercolour lately. I've been using my church windows and dyes to colour. Lorraine Wilson has been doing a crystal art canvas. Viv Williams has started quilling. Um, Leslie Hill making tags. Brian and Betty Copeland picked up knitting again. Oh, this is wonderful news, isn't it? There's Amazing. nothing better to hear that you guys have been getting crafty. Um, shall I run through the TV schedule whilst we uh, wait for some more comments? Yeah. Um, Kat, you're going to be on Hobby Maker, aren't you? On Sunday. On Sunday. Yes. Um, two, three, four, and six. You've got a busy day. A very busy day. Um, yeah, three hours back to back. Wow. Gonna you're going to have to take a brew in. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. The collection is especially for you that we are launching on Hobby Maker. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. It is stunning. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. You're getting toppers, cardstock, little book, acetate. It's just, it's dreamy. Um, so you do not want to miss that. Um, you've got some other shows and stuff as well. Some we goodies have, to be working yes. with. Um, you're going to finalise the last bit of your prep as well. Yes. Um, okay. And on Monday on Hunky Dory TV, we're going to be launching that especially for you collection. And Marie and Natalie are going to be your hosts for that show. So do not miss out. Um, Dawn Heath has started bunting. Paul and Haycock is started on our christmas cards nikki mitchell has started stamping um coronation weekend crafts wowzers um gonna try and flick over to youtube it was being really pesky before um absolutely amazing um makes from you guys yeah no i'm sorry it's still being pesky but jess has got youtube off haven't you um amazing have we got a winner we do, we do. <gasps> Deb Clark White. I think I read out one of her comments before. Um, yes, yes, I did read that one out. Deb has been learning to create paper daffodils ready for Mother's Day. That is Deb Clark White. Congratulations, Deb. You are going to be taking home that wonderful um, prize rollover box. So do get us in touch, send us a little message and we'll get that in the post for you. And good luck with your paper daffodils, by the way. They sound awesome. Um, can I think we're ready to say goodbye? Oh, we bye, bye. bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for your demos. And um, we are going to love you and leave you. Have a wonderful weekend and take care in the snow if you are popping out. Mm.